Ngayon, ang ating susunod na lesson ay all about uh, real numbers. So, konting review lang tayo about sa real numbers. So, sabi natin, um, last time, di ba, it is any positive or negative numbers. This includes all integers and all rational and irrational numbers. So, sa real numbers, dito yung mga positive numbers, negative, mga whole numbers, yung mga fractions, mga decimals, ayan. Yung mga number na nasabi natin, um, nakapaloob lahat yun sa real numbers. So, ngayon, i-apply natin itong real number na ito sa real life. So, let's have our first example. There are 8 packs of fruit juice in a box. How many boxes of fruit juice will be needed if 40 people are attending the party with each person receiving 6 pack, six packs of fruit juice? So, para mas madali, na isolve natin, unahin muna natin isulat yung given para mas ma-analyze natin ng maayos yung question. Okay. Ano ba ang unang given na binigay dito? 8 packs of fruit juice. So, 8 packs of fruit juice in a box. So, kada isang box per box Ang laman, 8 packs of fruit juice. Ano pang mga given natin? 40 people. 40 people attending the party. And then, ang last given natin na binigay, each person receiving 6 packs of fruit juice. 6 packs of fruit juice per person. So, kada isang tao, 6 packs of fruit juice yung matatanggap. So, ang tanong dito, how many boxes of fruit juice will be needed? Ito yung mga given natin. 8 packs of fruit juice per box, 40 people attending the party, and 6 packs of fruit juice per person. So, unahin natin ito. 40 people. 40 people ang mag-a-attend ng party. Tapos, kada isang tao, 6 packs ng fruit juice yung matatanggap niya. So, 40 multiply by 6. Kasi, kada isang tao, 6 na packs ng fruit juice yung matatanggap. So, 40 times 6 is equal to 240. So, meron tayo ditong 8 packs of fruit juice per box. So, anong gagawin natin ngayon? I divide natin itong total dito sa ating um, given na 8 packs of fruit juice. So, 240 divided by 8. So, solve, na, so solve natin. 240 divided by 8. So, 24 divided 8 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. Bring down 0. 0 times 8 is 0. Then, 0 times 8 is 0. So, 0. So, 30. S 240 divided by 8 is 30. So, ibig sabihin, 30 boxes of 30 boxes of fruit juice are needed. That's for our first example. Next example, a village has 256 residents. Knowing that each family has four members, how many evacuation centers are needed to be built if each only has a capacity of eight families? So, unahin muna natin isulat ang given. Given, meron tayong 256 residents. So, ibig sabihin, ang nakatira sa village, lahat-lahat ay 256 na tao. And then, kada isang family, meron tayong 4 members. So, 4 members per family or each family. Next, 8 families. 8 families ang kasya sa isang evacuation center. So, 8 families per um, 
evacuation center. Ayan. Yung mga given natin, pag nasulat na, then proceed na tayo sa ating pagsusolve. So, 256 members ang ating residente. Then, kada isang family, merong apat na members. So, kailangan nating malaman kung ilang family lahat yung resident. So, i-divide natin si 256 divided by 4. Para malaman natin kung ilang ilang families lahat-lahat ito. So, 256 divided by 4. So, let's solve. 256 divide natin sa 4. 25 divided by 4 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 25 minus 24 is 1. Then, bring down 6. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So, 4 times 4 is 16. So, 0. So, 64. So, 256 divided by 4 is equal to 64. So, meron tayo ngayon 60 families, no? So, ang tinatanong dito, how many evacuations are needed? Meron kang 60 families. Ilan ngayon ang evacuation na kailangan natin kung kada isang evacuation center ay 8 families ang kasya. So, 64. Para malaman natin yon So, 64 divided by 8. Kasi yun lang yung kasya sa isang evacuation. So, 64 divided by 8 is 8. So, 8 na evacuation center ang kailangan. Kita yun.